Isaiah 58, verse 13 to 14. If you turn away your food from the Sabbath, I don't do any work, from doing your own pleasure on my holy Sabbath day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you, sh you shall delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride on the high hill of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. As I does 31, verse 13, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, My Sabbath you shall keep, not our Sabbath, but rather his Sabbath. If Christ says he's the, he's the law of the Sabbath, you should understand. This is the verse on it. That my Sabbath you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generation that you, you may know that I am the Lord your God. The Sabbath is a sign between us and God. It's a commandment from God. It's a sign. That proves that we are different. So when all other people are ignoring the Sabbath day, doing their own thing, we on the Sabbath day observe it and throw us. Why are you going on the Sabbath day for fellowship and we will say it's a day made by God and it holy sanctified by God himself and he said you must keep it for his name and we are obedient to God we are not disobedient children therefore we are doing that in honor of our Lord our maker our creator and our father Isaiah 65 verse 4 and 5 for that said the Lord unto the inlocks that keep my Sabbath and choose those things that please me and take hold of my covenant, even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than the sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that no one knows. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we bring our message to a close. And I want to tell you, now you know you have been sucked into light verses of scriptures, historical evidence, you now see how the devil, the Antichrist, seeking through the revelation of the prophet Daniel, chapter 7, that he will change God's law in time. He is fulfilling the prophecy by changing God's law of the Sabbath and instituting his own law there. And I pray God will have mercy on you and your church. You better change your church and understand that we need to worship on Sabbath day, not on Sunday. If we are no more aligning ourselves with the Catholic Church, then we must turn away and go the opposite side. Else you are still under their mark. Listen, the mark of the beast, according to Revelation 13 verse 18, which is the 666, is a mark. Mark. The 666 is a mark. Mark, when you read, as God said, the Sabbath day will be a sign between me and you. That's the, a mark between us and God. This is also a mark that the enemy will bring. You don't see on your forehead, on your finger, but rather there are doctrines and teachings that the Antichrist will bring to you. And one of them is a Sunday worship. So you see, you are following the, the mark of the beast by worshiping on a day and neglecting God's day of worship. You are following the purpose, the Antichrist. No, the, the son of perdition, his way of worship, his day of worship, and his period of observing the sun god.